Instead of taking it, I'm taking pieces home And you could say I'm far beyond control As of late, it's something's to my soul Hey, welcome back, Henry We're in Alamosa it was so close. Yeah, that was easy. Just a short nap away. Yeah, I was about to say, it was instant for you and Henry. Where's Safeway? Safeway in Alamosa. Henry just woke up. He and didn't, he didn't ride there. <laughs> we're surrounded by rigs. There's rigs everywhere. Some of you are here. I counted like five vans in the parking lot, right, so. We know the gutted people are here. Everyone's loading up on supplies. There's another one. It's pretty sweet. We're gonna go get some food. Stock up. Can't find a muffler shop. So we're gonna go without the generator for this, which is fine. The generator's only there for emergencies. I don't expect to need it, but see how we do. Ooh, we're going to the post office to see if a letter that my mom sent to the post office in Alamosa, like general delivery, is here for us. Casey's parallel parked to the RV, and we have to walk a block. And I'm hoping to also pick up flat rate boxes to mail some souvenirs that are starting to pile up. You excited? Yeah. That's the post office. logo. Uh-huh. Success! We got the letter that my mom sent. What a little charming thing to be able to do. It works. And the guy, it must be very uncommon because the guy, but he remembered my name. He also asked if it was like also somebody with the same last name, like another first name. So it wasn't like the only one there for that, which is super cool. Good job. Okay, you see the RV? Yeah. Let's go to it. Oh, that looks cool. What is it? It's a maze of our trip. Okay. Oh, stickers. We didn't bring these stickers. That's fun. Dear Henry, you've got more. This says fill in the faces. You got a coloring page that Grandma made and fill in the blanks. How fun. Um, the gutted event is letting people come in at uh, 5 o'clock tonight, which is like a day early. Things don't really get started until tomorrow. We're in town way too early for that. So I think we're going to actually head past it, go to the Great Sand Dunes get Henry his Junior Ranger booklet and just kind of see it and then go back to the event. Which was Casey's idea and I'm so excited. Did you get some wine? Safeway didn't have any wine for our bolognese sauce. I probably could have gotten something drier, but check it out. Oh, yeah, I figure that's good though because we got to drink the rest of it or something. He's a quitter. That's cute. Bicycle wine. Every day is a play in an opera and we're really just popping it back out. We will be back. It's weird to me that this is not, I mean like, you know, I haven't been to that many national parks, but I've been to half a dozen. And there's usually like such a long line of people. It just doesn't seem like a very popular one. Yeah. Because it's amazing. Well. Where else do you see this? Nowhere, I guess that's the point. Sand Dunes Visitor Center closes early. So we missed it. That's right. We're going to go hike over and look at these dunes. We'll come back this weekend. Look at these mountains, Henry. Pretty wild, isn't it? Mm. Mm. It's a natural wonder of the world. And the sand dunes. Henry was so excited to get his Junior Ranger workbook from the park. That's okay. We'll come back and we'll get it. Don't worry. I'm going They're closed. They're closed. Look at all the people out there. I just noticed them. Mm -hmm. It's full of people. See them walking on the sand, Henry? Mm -hmm. Continue on road two, south for two. The drive 
Soft spots, but I think it's okay. As long as we don't stop in one of them, keep our momentum going. Here we are. Who was letting all the dust in? Is that you? tried some of those traction -y thingies it didn't we couldn't go they pushed us out we got, we got nine bros behind us though they just pushed us Never underestimate what i you can't can do with believe that that worked that's crazy all right i'm coming in to one of these really flat ones right here yeah this I'm one slowing down yep 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 get us up 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 getting us in i don't know if i'll get us out Oh yeah, we're, we're digging, but whatever. We're gonna have the same problem coming out, but we're here! Woo! Holy shit! You can see over our mountain of junk here, Casey's out there setting up the shade tent, trying to get it staked down in all this wind. I'm working on some dinner. We're gonna have breakfast for you now, so I made some of this bacon. These are some leftover hash browns from that day we had brunch and chow. <laughs> Look at the sunset. Look at that. Oh, these rigs. You ever seen so many rigs going That's on? Rig City. Yeah. It's a rig village. It's a rig. I don't know if we told you guys we're stuck. Did we say we're stuck? We're quite stuck. We're like stuck here. We buried it. We're very anxious about it right now. We're trying to like let it go. We'll get out on Sunday somehow. <sighs> Someone will help us. It's a lot of heavy equipment. We'll dump all our water on the ground and be lighter. Is what I think. That's my yeah. Okay, yeah, ah, uh, and then there's a ooh, uh, or an uh, yeah, yeah. and then a r. Uh. There you go. Okay, where's this going? It says, no, Henry, do not open your, into the pee zone. That dog's going straight to it. Someone dumped their pee out there. Don't do it. Just like the dog really wants to go here. Look, fresh water. Get your water bottle, babe. Yep, that's human pee pee. <laughs> he drank it? I hope not. <laughs> no, he just peed on it, the He's dog. Sad. All right, y'all, we're out here at Gutted. It's our uh, first morning waking up here in the desert. I'm sure we told you yesterday we're practically buried to the axles of the sand, so we're gonna have to get pulled out of here. Uh, but this is our first time going fully off-grid with the new inverter install, and I just wanted to update you on how that's going, because I'm pretty stoked. We're never intending to run a bunch of appliances off-grid. That's why we got a thousand watt inverter, because that's all we really need. Uh, and right now, I've been doing some work stuff. I had a few proposals to send out, and so I've got my phone, my MacBook, and my iPad were all low on battery. They're all plugged in to the inverter or to the wall, and the inverter's running and charging. We've got a couple fans on, there's some lights here and there, and that's it. It's uh, 9.30 in the morning, sun's just coming up, and with all that load on the batteries and the 300 watts of solar, we're still pushing 27 watts of power into the batteries. We're sitting at 100%, or pretty close to 100%, because uh, it's still taking some power, and uh, we're running all this without drawing on the batteries at all, so. That's pretty sweet. That's what we wanted to see. I think there's probably room for us to run a compressor fridge on this thing. I'm hoping to like, there's vendors here. I'm gonna talk to some of them and see what our options are of potentially putting a compressor fridge in here instead of this uh, one that runs on propane. Cause that's the one resource we were already used like a quarter of a tank on this trip. Just hot water, 
stove and fridge we've used a quarter of our propane so far in about six days so that's not bad that means we'll last a month on this propane unless we have to run the furnace at night sorry i turned the camera on i was eating a cookie that was rude let's go explore him Oh, this is great. Sam freeze down right here. Yeah. How's it going, Mom? No, well, we're having a hard time. What's going on? I'm trying to make a hundred fingerprints. Oh, that's a lot. That's ten tens. Yeah, we just started over because it wasn't going so well. All right. Well, number one, the drone's flying overhead. It just like gives you a taste of what the future is going to be, everybody. This morning, Henry and I got some paint out and we made some little signs. He had to do this handprint thing for his math curriculum, but then we just we did this mural. I made some little signs. And the coolest one, did you stake it down yet? I did stake it down. <gasps> it's staked down and everything. Is there a little sign in front of our camp spots? Casey's been mingling all morning. Mingling? He's the social one. Yes. I've met a lot of people. I've met some people that I watch their YouTube channels. It's really kind of weird. Very weird, in fact. We're over here watching them work on this bus. That roof was like... Attached yesterday. Attached this morning. I went by here at like 9 o'clock. And uh, yeah, they've done a roof lift within like three hours here on this thing. so sandy I can't even see the GoPro screen and it's like it's like a little mini camper van burning man I mean very mini it's got a very Mad Max vibe to it you can almost see the Great Sand Dunes today right between there it's still pretty hazy but you're Mount Blanco it's pretty dope where are you off to? I'm gonna go bury our compost which I can say because we're on private property and that's allowed because I've watched a lot of people dump their pee-pee tanks so well composting and they hurt anybody. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, this has been in the freezer and you know. Do it. We got the instant pot going on the inverter. It's officially working. I'm pulling 600 watts off the batteries. It's really a lot of power, 47 amps. But after it gets up to pressure, I think the wattage to maintain it drops pretty low. Because these are perfect. Those are perfect? Mm -hmm. Love it. Love it. It's the hottest part of the day, so we're about to start cooking dinner because we're going to make this vegetarian um, like mushroom bolognese uh, that we really like. So we're setting up in the shade tent. I thought That's we'd do a murdering. little vlogging of this. Welcome to our camp kitchen outdoor. I love how versatile everything is. We're at Van Life Fire Festival. And no, just kidding. I'm just kidding. So dramatic. It's not FEMA tent. We have a wonderful time. Let me help you with your hand a little bit. You look so BA with the yellow paint off your leg. Mm -hmm. Bubbled water if it's still in there. This is my favorite way to keep broth um, in the fridge is to have um, one of these and it's just a teaspoon per cup and add water. 
Okay, we're checking. <laughs> Tomatoes. Yep. Who's got a pee? I didn't boil that much water. I can do. It's pretty wild being out here. All these like custom built rigs and desert shanties. Come on, little butt. I did the cut through. You did the cut through? All right, we're going to go see some more campsites. The haze is cleared. You can see the mountains. It's a bummer that we're stuck. It's like not that big of a deal because we're here and we want to be here and I know we'll be able to get out when we are ready. We might just have to wait and get some help. But it has been like a little bit of a, I don't know, a down note in the background on everything. I want to remember like, oh yeah, we're stuck. It's, kind of, it's a weird feeling to know that you can't leave if you wanted to. I don't know. It's like almost claustrophobic. But that's okay. We got tons of food, tons of water. We can use our instant pot apparently and still charge the batteries on the solar. Not too bad. Do you have anything you want to trade with Dana? I want to trade these because I think you might have coyote tracks. Well, if he has coyote tracks, you should trade one of your other cards for, for the coyote, coyote tracks. tracks. But I don't think I have coyote tracks, Henry. Uh -oh, I don't either. They must be in here still. Oh, wait, keep them on. There's an app for this event <laughs> yeah. that people can post in and like the schedules there and stuff and I just downloaded it because I've just been hanging out. The people two spots over from us are having some electrical trouble and they posted asking for help. Casey's got all of his electrical tools with him. We're gonna pop over there. I'm gonna film him helping out a little bit. I got 13, I think. So you got dual batteries here. This is how that's I'm trying to film us being helpful so we look like nice people. This is the price of admission. So you're showing 12.8 volts. Okay. So it's not like fully charged because you'd probably be closer to like 13, but it's got plenty of charge. Ours is above the door. You mind if I step up here? Is that cool? That's fine. That got way over my head real fast, so I'm gonna let him do his thing. Penny, update on the day. Are you having a good day? No, why not? Cause nothing to do. Nothing to do? There's everything to do. Cause, cause there's no racetrack going to do. You didn't bring your racetracks. I forgot that you asked to bring those. Bummer, man. You can make a racetrack in the sand. I see you got some trucks out there already. <laughs> yeah, nothing to do. Paige got us a special activity for this RV trip. Henry and I make Lego RVs and camper vans. I wanted them to have all the best pieces to make the coolest Now RVs. we can make legit ones. It's got like an RV chassis. You ready? Let's build this thing. Yeah. You need a red thing and a blue one. mirrors love it they the cab over it's just like real rv living they just threw all their shit in the bed <laughs> in the baby bottle yeah it's the best way to drive with it the whole top come on <gasps> and the whole top comes off do that all pretty cool 
There's a driver's compartment. This is neat. Thanks, Mom. You're welcome. Best Legos yet. Like, look. Did you see the work they're doing on the school bus? I saw they had it half closed in last time I was up there. I heard it's fully I had closed. No interest in it at all, and I'm fascinated. Then after they lifted it up and stuff, yeah. they had that thing. They had that roof up in like three hours. Yeah, it was crazy. But the panels they're welding, I, I yeah, it's really smart. They have two windows in. It, right? There we go. Windows. In, I gotta go see it. We're on our way up to the main stage. We heard there's been big progress on the school bus. And uh, it's, it's been really cool to watch how quick these have come together. We're a day and a half into it. And they're doing so much stuff on these rigs. Which rig do you think is the coolest so far? Not out here, the ones at the stage. The RV, the bus, or the van? The, the, the bus. The bus? Me too. All right, so we were walking up to the main stage and we saw Eric and Allison from The Endless Adventure. Very popular. They just hit half a million subs. YouTube and channel. We've subbed them for like for a long time. The, yeah. The people here that we've subbed the longest. Totally. Yeah. We've we've been following them since before COVID. Yeah. And before they bought an RV. More, yeah. They were yeah, they were doing like a lot of international travel. Anyway, we saw them. I was like, hey, let's go say hi. And we did. They had done a travel video in Paige's hometown. Mm -hmm. And so we talked to them about that. And they were like, hey, you wanna come see what we're working on in the rig? Because you can't really see it from the outside. Um so yeah, we got to go we check it out. I'm 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 stoked. Yeah. So we just got we the floor. Up? Yeah, you can go on. Oh sweet, you got floors in? Yeah, just in that today. Yeah, you see the other ones you could well you could see in the bus when it's opened up, but we can't see from back there. Yeah. That's sweet. Yeah, Henry, so check it out. Sharif's been working on. Oh man. Did all this in one day. That's awesome. Alex that's the same cedar this. that we put in our yeah, walls. See, that stuff's awesome. Yeah. It like goes oh, up so easy. Wow. Yeah. I'm, I'm here with Eric from the Endless Adventure. How's it going, y'all? Yeah. He gave us. They gave us. Eric and Allison gave us a behind the scenes tour, so we're yeah. coming here and check, check out, out our rig, you the guys. RV. This thing crazy or what? That's awesome. It's kinda, I, I was gonna say halfway done, but let's be honest, it's not even halfway done. I don't yet. know, man. It looks really bad right before like it all starts coming yeah. together. Yeah. But like you know, it's the trim work. Oh That's man, what's gonna we're gonna get to, you. I mean, you can see we're gonna have to do so much friggin' trim. Who's your trim specialist on uh, the team? Allison. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm decent at it now. Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah. But this is pretty nuts to think that yesterday we were like scraping up rotten wood on the floor. That's nuts. Now we got a new floor. We got most of the wall. We ran out of plywood, or else we'd have all the walls. But yeah, got some of the bed in. Got. This is awesome. Some of the shower. Does it still have a water tank in it? Uh, the water tank's gonna go there, but it's outside right now. I saw one outside. Okay, cool. Yeah. Thanks for letting us yeah, tour, guys. We'll get out of your way. We're slowing you down. Yeah, get back Basically to work. How dope was that to get an inside tour, you guys? You can't see it from I know. Here. You really couldn't tell. They've, they're doing a corner bed. I love corner bed layouts. <laughs> I know. That's my favorite thing. Because having an RV, we're like especially interested in the RV build, I think. Um, we like have that bias. Totally. And they're feeling the burn in there, it sounds like. It's uh, yeah, they're stressed they're out. A rough time. So it looks really good though. It's further along than they were giving it credit for. Yeah. They've done the hard work, and uh, yeah, it looks really cool. So that was cool to get an inside glimpse. I think the uh, magic of it all was lost on Henry. <laughs> he he's not impressed by anything. He just wants to play in the dirt. Life, yeah. Know? Come on, Henry, bud. And we got to meet uh, Sharif. His channel's Dual X. I don't know if you've yeah, watched him I much. Have a little bit. Um, he he does like very like nice yeah dishes. like a lot of like really super rustic stuff that he does he's done these like big corrugated steel and cedar showers yeah really beautiful stuff yeah it's hot it's the hottest day yet which is only like 85 it's still nothing like being back home what's well, 88 no. 88 okay well still but, i'm sure it's 188 at home well with the humidity at home it's gotta they have a height it's not effect. the heat it's the humidity that's true <laughs> You're so silly, kiddo. Okay. All right, there's that. It's kind of a thin cut up. It came out good. This is like the cool setup, using the Instant Pot with the Jackery. And uh, we're gonna reheat some leftover soup and then we'll have us a little three-course meal. Our outdoor kitchen, our dinner, 
our entertainment, watching the forklift pull cars out of the sand. It's a true gutted experience. You all dust? Sorry about the dust. Ain't shit I can do about it, everything's dusty. It's Friday morning at gutted. I'm gonna make some coffee. Can I share your table with you? Yeah, sure, you can. Alright, your milk is all sweet. And then more raisin bran. Plenty of raisin bran. Yeah, but you don't have time to eat more. I've got snacks in our backpack, okay? And you've got a whole bowl of yummy. Alright, dude. It's time to call that cereal a wrap. We gotta go. Casey had to work this morning, so I had to bring yeah. Henry to my oh, yoga oh, class. Oh, it's not super relaxing. I got a man. There's a little free table over here. I'm gonna check it out. Henry loves porta potties. I don't know why. He's the only one on earth. All right. I don't want to go in this blue. You got a little buddy, Henry. Hi. <laughs> Got two dark greens and one in. If you want a different brush, you can go over to the table and get a bigger brush too for more like coverage on the background. Yeah, can I do it? Yeah, they're all in a cup up there. Yeah, it is. I'm so far forward, I should have just stopped right here. It's our last full day here at Gutted. Unless we're stuck. Unless we're stuck. Have we mentioned that we're stuck? I mean, we are stuck unless we can't get pulled out. Yeah. We're hoping to get pulled out by the big truck. They have a big... Uh, in the morning. Tomorrow. Yeah. They have like a big forklift thing they've been pulling people out we, with. Um, we cannot get in line on Sunday with a bunch of people trying to leave and manage the schedule that yeah. keeps our child sane enough that we stay sane. Well, and we're almost out of fresh water. That's probably oh, our biggest yeah, limiting factor. We kind of thought we'd be able to pop out, go fill up with water, but we got stuck since we got here. So we said, all right, yeah. make resources last. We've done a really good job. We I even served water like bosses. We, uh, all the, I have my, my beer cooler. Um, I put a big bag of ice in it and the ice all melted and even uh, just ran that through the Berkey for drinking water rather than Did pulling out of our water tank. Did you check the levels tank. on the Berkey? I just filled it. Anyway, we met some folks yesterday via Instagram because we're influencers now. <laughs> and uh, they came over to our place and checked things out. So we're going to go tour their rig here. Hopefully they're home. If they're here. We'll see. I'm going to be kind of sad to leave early. We're not going to know who won. And even if we did know who won, we've been sworn to secrecy. So we can't tell you who won. But uh, yeah, our, money's on the, our money's on the RV team. We, yeah, we've got our... RV solidarity. Yep. Pack up camp before it gets dark tonight and gets cold and try and get out of here first thing in the morning and uh, we've got some places picked out. We've, we've got to find an extra night in our itinerary. We've got to find an extra place to camp for our next stop where we have a booking. So yeah. that'll be easy. There's plenty of stuff around here. It's hot. <laughs> We're in the desert. Yeah, Tiny Homes was good. Uh, thanks the Average Brad for coming and spending average a couple Brad. hours with us. Yeah. It's, yeah. Uh, but it was a cool shoot. I think he's been more in depth in some of the cubbies and stuff than I have since I built the, <laughs> built the thing. Like but fine teeth comb. Well, it's it. so unique. Yeah. What do you think, Henry? Is it cool? It's yeah. pretty small compared to your house, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then you know as you're cleaning up and you're doing things, one of the things we've struggled with in here is a mirror. Oh, like, yeah. Where do you put a mirror? Yeah. And we tried all kinds of things, and I had this revelation this morning that the tablet has a camera on the front. 
just use oh, that as a mirror. mirror. And now it's I was going to suggest like a um, one of those like plastic or acrylic ones and like believe it or not 3M Velcro. Oh yeah. That's you could stick it to that wall back there mm -hmm. and it would stay. We've we've held up to... way too much stuff in oh, our it works rig. when you're Rachel who's 5'2". <laughs> yeah, yeah, me as a squad. Yeah. We don't need a mirror. We, you got the side yeah. of the camera over here like yeah. it's so shiny. Yeah. By the way, this is Rachel and Justin, right? Jordan. Jordan, damn it. I'm so bad at it. I told you yesterday. I told you yesterday. You got one. Um, 50% there. Jordan's gonna teach me to fly. Maybe. He promised. Um, <laughs> Take a road trip out to Indiana. Yeah, we met we met these guys. Uh, they came by last night, so we wanted to come see their rig. They've got a. I'm gonna. You're gonna show the outside. Yeah. This is what year is it? This is a 1965 Peckman Phoenix. Uh, so 1965 Peckman Phoenix. All right. Flying the Phoenix. Yep. Find him on Instagram. I can make the store for you. You need to get an Arkansas. Yeah. Stop. We do. In there. Yeah. Northwest Arkansas is where it's at. Yep. We'll host you. It's not any wider than the car, is no, it? No, it's about the same. Actually. Yeah, you'd have no problem getting this up into like the forest roads in the Ozark National Forest and like Buffalo River. Yeah. Some good stops there for the one, sure. The one tricky part is when we're boondocking, do we have enough sun? Yeah. You know? Yeah. With the forest, the answer is no, probably not. <laughs> no, yeah. That's, so cassette toilet on one side. Yep. And then. Full on. Propane water heater or? Yeah, propane Okay, water cool. Heater. Whoa. Uh, and we went with, so the company that makes this is called Julka. They're out of Australia. Uh, they make their own. And with the way that the hooks and stuff are inside, it actually would be a better setup for us. But these are battery powered. Right. Uh, Julka is not. Uh, at least that I understand it's not for the water pump and such. Got so it. having this and just being able to go to the store and buy batteries when you need it is yeah. a little more convenient when we're yeah. doing stuff like this. Yeah, totally. Uh, but yeah, it'll heat the water to uh, like 30 or so degrees warmer than whatever it is. Ambient temperature? Yep. Yeah. Sweet. So yesterday when we- More than enough here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I made that mistake last night of uh, cranking it on when the water was already exposed all day. Yeah. And so it was a. Uh, we have that hot. sometimes. The yes. tank's already warm. Yes. Yeah. So we spent the rest of our day checking out the rigs and getting ready to leave. Got it through us one more curveball before we left, which is that we got sand in the audio jack of our GoPro, which is why you're getting a rare visit from voiceover Casey and Paige. So we decided since we were gonna leave the next morning that we wanted to get the RV in a place where we could move it. We thought we might as well try it ourselves before we, you know, trying to get in line for help. So as we were trying to back it out and making a bunch of noise, we attracted some attention and suddenly it turned into people pushing and digging with shovels. And finally one dude was just like, I've got a Jeep and a winch. And he was like so excited to use that thing. So they pulled us to the back of the spot. We finally got it above ground. It was pretty exciting. Many beers were shared. So we left it there for the night and we're able to roll out on our own in the morning. We just grabbed some dinner. Paige had made some bread. I've been making sourdough. Okay, so there was actually one challenge left. Our friends the day before, uh, Jordan and Rachel, told us that they had gone out and the road out was in really bad shape. They said sand so soft you'd get stuck if you stopped, but ruts that were over a foot deep and just like really tore stuff up. They were supposed to be getting the road fixed that day, but that kind of construction would mean that we wouldn't be able to leave while they were working on it. So we got up extra early. Yeah, they told us like leave at seven or we're, sh we're gonna shut the whole road down first thing in the morning for maintenance. So we bombed it out of there and like video doesn't do it justice, man. We were slamming that thing. I was really worried. But we looked in the rearview mirror and it was actually, we were in a race. They had told us they were gonna try and escape and it was actually uh, Jordan and Rachel behind us. So we got to see them off and celebrate with them um, the whole event and making it out of there. It was so cool to have made some friends. And that's it, Got it was over. We still had the great sand dunes ahead of us and plenty more travels on so our way. So much more.